facial hair. Some people use it to be manly, some use it to be creative, and others use it for complete stupidity. Well, hello there, I'm Kevin V, and welcome to Kevin's Top 7. Today I'll be talking about facial hairstyles. Number 7 on my list is Slender Stash. It sees its mustaches grow really long limbs to swiftly kill its prey or other people that might have better looking facial hair than its master. Either way, the police and nightclubs should probably hit this guy up because they might need a pretty good rope manager to barricade everybody away. Speaking of odd and creepy, number six on my list is something I like to call Davy Jones. It seems to be a goatee with a hair tentacle mix, creating that old Davy look. Either that or I've been playing too much Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Number 5 on my list is the classic Lumberjack. Now the rough exterior I find just looks really cool, especially when you're actually able to grow one. And I'm also Canadian, so next to plaid shirts and maple syrup, it's sort of a stereotype that's a given for us. Now speaking of Lumberjacks, Canadians, and maple syrup, I mean beards, this product that I found while looking up some of these cool styles is just perfect for all three. It's also on my I fucking want list. I call it the Lumber Toque, and it's really just perfect for me since I don't really have the best facial hair growing skill. And since winter is coming, and I forgot my sword for the White Walkers, it might be a great form of protection. And looking badass at the same time. Number four on my list is something I like to call the Cattail. Now, I'm not sure about you, but for me, I don't really have the desire to put a cattail on my face at all, let alone have my facial hair be the style of it. I don't really quite understand it, it's very creative, but at the same time I feel like it's one of those it was probably good sounding on paper and it probably should have stayed that way. Number three on my list is something I call Wolverine Chops. They're very cool looking sideburn slash beard looking style. Uh, I just find it really badass. I mean I mentioned that my own beard was kind of getting like that, but I don't think I could ever really pull it off. But I always found it just made Wolverine badass. I know CM Punk's kind of doing with that style too. It looks cool when people can actually pull it off, I find. Number two on my list is something I like to call the Tiger Stripes. Or for the person I'm actually mentioning that uses this kind of style, I like to call it Flying Tiger Stripes. Now Jeff Hardy is a great wrestling superstar that I find has many cool abilities and attributes to him. Charisma, in-ring ability, but his facial hair has always been something I found intriguing. He never seemed to have changed it very much at all. It just always seems to be a tiger stripes. And I just, I don't see many other people ever do that. And so over the years of just being a fan of him, I've always liked that. And it was very cool. Next to his rainbow hair of awesomeness. Numero uno on my list is something I like to call the wave. It looks to be a cool slick looking beard, but just with the cool curvature of a wave and other wavy looking things to it. I know I can only see with the one side of the picture, but I still think it looks pretty cool either way. I mean, it's just, it's very slick. It'd be something I'd actually like to try if I even could, but uh, I just find it really cool looking. And uh, it was definitely a toss up between this and Jeff's Tiger Stripes, but I found this one to be a little more creative, um, but still unique too. So yeah. Now that brings me to the common question of the day for you. Out of the seven styles that I featured, which one is your favorite? Comment that down below if you can. If you wish to while you're down there, like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I also want that fucking hat.